I mean, that's the biggest fraud. Go. This is why Steve Jobs is a bit of a fraud. Uh, he makes the iTablet, and there's no no, SD no. or compact flash drive. I wonder why that is. No USB port to put in your flash reader, compact flash? I wonder why. Could it be that you want us to download stuff from iTunes as opposed to moving it from the legal copy we've bought and putting it in there? Hmm. Oh, yeah. They, they, they hmm. sell a dongle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It's a thirty-eight dollar dongle yeah. to put a compact. It's you could have put a USB reader yeah. in like every other that was kind of silly, vice yeah. in the world. It's unbelievable what he does, and he gets away with the, the the reality distortion field of Steve Jobs is so great. I've got a USB port on my refrigerator, and I will like what name a consumer electronic device that doesn't <laughs> have a USB <laughs> port my on it. Yeah, I, I got the new Braun uh, toothbrush yeah. USB device. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, I have to change the background on the uh, display. Yeah, on the display. Right. Yeah. I like to put my daughter picture right yellow. on there when I'm doing my thing. I mean, everything's got a USB yeah, device. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there are hot coffee. That's right. Uh, the warmers. The warmers yeah. are USB powered. Yeah, five volts. Better. Steve Jobs can't put a USB thing in there. You make fun of a successful person who doesn't put a USB port on a device. I mean, can somebody make a website that says, "I will not buy a tablet. I will not buy the iPad without a USB port." dot com. Somebody in the audience make a posterous blog. It will cost you eight bucks. I'm not an investor in posterous, but I would if I could. I love that product. I won't buy uh, an yeah. iPad without a USB port. dot com. And then we could all post comments on it and just make fun of Steve Jobs forever. <laughs> and then just the whole campaign should be no no USB, no. That's a better domain name. No, no USB, USB, no, no iPad. iPad. That could be an entire movement right there. I mean, is anybody else just extraordinarily pissed off that the outrageousness of releasing a device without a USB port? It's just un. And also, I'll be not to kiss Microsoft's ass that they're here, but didn't Bill Gates make like 18 tablets that have better specs than this one? I mean, I know this one probably is the sexiest thing ever. Microsoft doesn't make the hardware and software; they make the software. But I saw the Dell on on. Um, oh, the Mini Five. Or the, the Mini Five. Yeah. Can we pull up that video from TechCrunch on YouTube? I'll play yeah. it uh, later. Uh, but on um, TechCrunch, Mike Arrington's at the Davos, which I'm not at. Now we're here in we're Santa here. Monica. Uh, and Davos looks totally dope. They're all walking around like in this <laughs> like Swiss I chalet fur. or I something. Furs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. With furs. And and it's fur. snowing yeah. and these, it's like some James Bond thing. Like, mm. Anyway. And yeah. so Mike Arrington runs into Michael Dell, and Michael Dell's like, hey, Mike, what do you think nice. of this? And he shows him a video of a device that is what the iPad should be, which is a Dell computer running, uh, is it running Chrome? Uh, or Android? It's Android. It's Android. Android. And it's like, here is a full-featured computer with a USB port <laughs> that's this big that fits in your pocket. And, and you can a, read a book and on it. And has a camera, I thought. And I think it has a yeah. camera. I think he showed the back with yeah. a camera. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. I, I, and I know, you know what Steve Jobs is doing. He's going to release, after 10 years, he is going to release, not 10 years, in two years, he'll finally put a camera and a USB on it. But enough of this. Well, it's either that or he seems to be regressing. Every new device has one less thing on it. Less and less features. And yeah. I, oh. I, had a, I had a meeting with Carlos. Yeah, the next one has no exactly. power button. <laughs> Here's power. my theory. Yeah. And I said this on This Week in Tech. And I, I, was, I had Kara Swisher over the house today. That's a little name drop right there. Oh, that's good. We should do actually be a good sound effect for a name drop. <laughs> 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 little name drop. Uh, Kara Swisher was over. And she said, oh, what do you think? And I said, what I think is Steve Jobs is trying to lock down the desktop. So he started with the iPhone that, or the iPod locked up. You can't put any of your own software on it. Then he said, oh, here's the iPhone, which is as much of a computer as it is a phone, 50-50. Let's lock that device down. You can only run the software that I approve. Duh. I mean, when's the last time anybody bought into an operating system that you had to get approval from daddy to run an application? Then he says, okay, now that I've got you schmucks on the um, iPhone platform, I am going to make it bigger into a tablet computer, and now I've locked down what is essentially your desktop. He's pitching this as a computer, and if you guys buy it, you're buying a computer where the only software you can run is the stuff he approves. That is like communism. Yeah. It is the they worst. Don't, they don't make these in North Korea? I think it is actually made in North Korea. I think actually Kim Jong-il was beta testing because I was talking to Kim Jong-il on Skype.